Good morning and welcome to the Next News. My name's Claire. And I'm Amelia. This week's broadcast features stories on FHS and spring break vacations. I loved you dangerously. More than the air that I breathe. It brings us a story on unique aspects of Farmington. Farmington High School has so many unique classes that help students learn. The medical classes here at Farmington High School are known for their hands-on learning. Yeah, like, this is, it provides a very interesting experience, like, very hands-on learning, which I really enjoy, and I feel like I learn better that way. I mean, this along with the other class that Mrs. Maxfield teaches, EMR really put me, like, on that medical path, and, like, made, it, like, sparked my interest in it, and this class has just really helped that. Amongst all the other classes, we have AP classes that set up students for college success. Um, and definitely... This class helps my learning because uh, it just like helps us learn how to write essays and like get a bunch of sources for that, which is really applicable skill in like college and stuff, and it's a good skill to be able to write essays. Not only is AP Seminar very helpful, AP Research is another awesome class here at Farmington. Honestly, I think it is the class that I've learned the most from out of all the classes I've taken in high school because you literally choose something that you want to learn about and then you just do that all year. Like you choose whatever you want. We've had people like lie down on the side of the rail trail and see who will stop to help them. We've had people evaluate Marvel movies. We've had people try and... I don't know, but 12 cuttlefish died this year, so something with cuttlefish. But like, it's literally like the most interesting things ever, and you learn everything there is to know about whatever you're learning about. Like, it's the best. Having a class that runs a snack bar provides a unique learning opportunity. It kind of teaches me life skills, like how to talk to people, how to sell something if I need to sell something and stuff like that. Yeah, it's honestly such a good opportunity. Um, this class has been a lot of help for me in many different ways in my life. Not only can students learn how to work with people, they can also learn how to work with animals. Uh, this class impacts my life because I've always wanted to be a marine biologist and it's given me opportunities to go on uh, conservation trips like Belize and it expands my knowledge for when I'm going to go to college for marine biology. I enjoy the opportunity. I've gotten to see like uh like eagles and owls and like hawks in person. And like some dude like came to class and he, he let us like look at him and he caught us like up close. That was cool. Not only does working with animals as a class provide a cool and unique opportunity, it can also help provide career opportunities. Biotech, like all of its hands-on labs. Um, so it's like, it's the way that I learn the best is like by actually like physically doing stuff. So um, biotech has opened like more medical doors to me, and I like I realized that I like the science part of medical stuff, not just like anatomy and physiology, but also like laboratory sciences. Farmerson High School has so many unique classes that contribute to its legacy. I'm Ella Johnston with the Knicks News. Bodie and Boston bring us the sports rundown. On Tuesday, boys baseball, boys tennis, softball, boys volleyball, and boys lacrosse, girls lacrosse, are all at Fremont. On Wednesday, boys tennis plays at Woods Cross. Boys baseball, boys soccer, and track and field are all at Fremont. On Thursday, girls golf is at Davis Park. Boys tennis, softball, boys volleyball, boys lacrosse, girls lacrosse, are all at Weber. On Friday, baseball plays versus Fremont. Boys soccer is at Weber. And girls lacrosse is at Waterford. The content assessment lab will be open Monday through Thursday, 2.30 to 4.30 in room 1410. Make sure to bring a teacher to referral. Ainsley brings us the question of the week. The question of the week is, do you know what March Madness is and who do you have winning? Do you know what March Madness is? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. Do you know what March Madness is? I have no idea. <laughs> You're just like me. <laughs> who do you have winning? Um, UConn. No, buddy, I don't care that much about March Madness. Go Purdue! Go Purdue! Houston! Iowa State. Utah State. Go Aggies! No one's sports are just as confusing as politics for me. Amen. If you have any story ideas, make sure to email us two weeks in advance and check out our socials. We'll see you next week.